Alrighty guys, welcome back to Taunton Tactics. This is our last video using Mike Glover's Fundamentals of One Man CQB as our source video. Uh, our next uh, source video is going to be really interesting. We're looking at Greg Lappin's uh, 1v4 home intro to CQB video, where they're using simunitions, um, force on force training, really cool stuff. Uh, I'll talk more about that at the end of this one. I want to keep this one nice and short. We're just going to do one map. It is a doozy. I have the random map generator set to max. This is a small map, but the difficulty level or the threat level is set to the max of 10. Um, so we're expecting in something this size, uh, I would say at least at least 15, <laughs> at least 15 uh, hostiles in here. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Once again, we are dropping it back down to one guy. Um, just just Mike we've still got the MP5 which we won't be using we're gonna stick to the Glock 22 and no plates so this is rough hopefully we'll get this done in one go I'm prepared to give it two um, but yeah we'll see what happens let's get into it so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna come up open the door exposing ourselves to the least amount of threat possible one thing I did forget to do as soon as he recovers let's get that pistol out because we're not using that MP5 unfortunately okay keeping it live because we want to make this smooth and only stopping when there's a threat keeping it smooth there's our first threat whoa he got some shots off a little bit quicker than I thought he would not good to be taking a hit this early on we uh, we have a lot of ground to cover let's keep pieing let's keep pieing just keep pieing just keep pieing uh, no, we're going to come in here, attack that corner and hopefully stop before that, that happens. Yes, sweet. Let's get back here. How many rounds we got? Eight. Uh, let's get here. Let that develop for a second. I'll let that reload now. Okay, topped up. Fresh mag of 15 plus one in the pipe. Makes me feel a little bit better. Let's go back to live. It's a long hallway, so we're going to take this a little bit slower. Just so we got the time. Whoa. Oh, guys. <laughs> okay, they're coming to us, which is kind of a good thing. Okay, how many rounds are we at? Three. We're going to bail. Let's get out of here. Just for a second. We're gonna reacquire as soon as we got a fresh, fresh mag in. If we make it through this, it's gonna be nothing short of a miracle. We got 11. We can deal with that. Keeping it nice and slow. Nice and slow. So we have a lot going on. I'm not as concerned about the bathroom as I am about this hallway, but we are keeping a bit of an eye on both. By that I mean we are slowly pieing this off as well, but this is definitely the main threat. We have a grenade thrown at us. That's fun. Thank you, Mr. Terrorist, sir. Oh, had to conduct a reload. Don't like that. Okay, we're out of here. Let's quickly clear this. Move as quickly as we can. All right. The throne is clear. All right, let's repie. Let's see what we can do. Wonderful. Let's get back. Let's get in here. Um, okay. Okay, obviously this bathroom is concerning, but just like Mike said, if there's an open threshold, we're dealing with that. We're dealing with that first. So, go on as low as we can. 
try and clear as much of this as we can. Oh my goodness, daunting. Um, this is probably going to end us. <laughs> There's way too much space here for me to, me to be comfortable about it. Um, Mike's doctrine would be to come in and rush that corner. We're going to peek it because we don't have the health, health to play with. There it is. Okay, one, one guy. So we're going to get out of there as quickly as we can. Actually, not as bad as I was thinking. So, let's get down to this. Yep. Great. And clear. We're going to get in here. Phew, my days. Let's get back. Hit a reload. We want to be... We want to stay as topped up as possible, guys. Going up against guys with... AKs and hand grenades and we're just sticking to a 15 round Glock. It's uh, It would be ill-advised, I would say, by pretty much everyone. Coming up, I'm going to clear this as much as possible. Wonderful. Focusing here. Uh, exposing ourselves to the least amount of, uh, least amount of threat as possible, which is going to be that corner there. And repie. Um, I think we're going to want the escape route, so we're going to stay on this side. Doors open anyway. Never mind. We're going to stay on this side. Here we go. Two more. We're holding that really well. But we are low on ammo. So let's keep an eye on that while we reload. Okay, and come back. Crossover. Okay. Definitely, definitely, definitely less concerned about that corner though. It's too small. Everything else though. Oh my days. Just a little bit daunting. Keeping it just slow as we slowly pie through this, working our way down. Okay. Um, we're going to rush straight in here. Alrighty, so what we can tell. Clear. 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 There's someone hanging out in this bathroom and has been there assumedly the whole time, at least from what we can see. So what we're going to have to do is just treat this as pretty much a fresh start, okay? Because we don't know if he's moved out of that bathroom since we walked past it. So we're essentially repying or re-entering the whole, the whole building again, taking, moving faster, but not taking anything for granted. We have more than enough ammo to get the job done. Again, it's most likely that he's in that threshold, but he may have moved down into the kitchen. Um, so, if that door is shut, it is. Okay, he's in there. Um, let's keep an eye on this. We want to give ourselves as much room to get out as possible. So as much distance as we can, and we're just going to literally back that far away from it. Okay, we know he was there. We know he was there. We want to keep as much distance as we can, um, but also move quickly. There we go. Unbelievable. Guys. 26 hostiles, pistol only, single man. We took a little bit of damage straight off the rip. Um, but, and that looks like it could be a little bit more of our blood there. Because we got, we pretty much sustained all of our injury straight off the bat. Okay, the rest of this, however, we did pretty well. Um, so what was it? Yep, 26. 26 guys. Alrighty. That is it for 
Mike Glover's uh, Fundamentals of CQB with the channel uh, Fieldcraft Survival. Like I said, uh, we're moving on to the channel Crimson Trace as our source video. What's really cool about this video, guys, is not only is it real world force on force with sim munitions, for a large majority of this video, they actually had a blueprint of um, the shoot house in the bottom left of the video. So, a little bit more time consuming on my behalf, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the map editor, I'm going to recreate that shoot house as best I can, I'm also going to put in um, insurgents in those rooms or intruders into those rooms specifically. The first run through of that will be exactly as it's done in the video. We're going to try and copy, mimic his movements as best we can, and then we're going to go into the random maps and uh, and flow as best we can to mimic that style as opposed to directly, directly copy it. Um, but pay attention, pay attention for that one. Like, comment, subscribe. Once again, if there's any videos you want me to check out, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will do so. Alrighty guys, thanks very much. I'll catch you on the next one.